Hey guys, Reviews for Yous here back and today I've got a quick unboxing for you guys for the uh, Lucktan S912 uh, 33 uh, plus miles per hour uh, RC car. Uh, let's quick go over of the box here for this unboxing today. As you can see here, this is the orange model. It does come in three colors. It comes in red and green as well. Uh, so that's it there. There's a claim up here at the top of 33 plus miles per hour. Uh, break the speed limit. And then down here at the bottom, as you can see, it says the Lucktan S912 leaves the rest behind. Over uh, along what would be the left side of the box. Hopefully you guys can see that there without any glare. Um, just says it has a hardware slipper clutch, four-wheel independent suspension system. Uh, the whole car uses metal universal cups, sealed ball bearings, and metal uh, rear dog bones and things like that. You've got this uh, vertical style uh, controller here, as you could see. It's the 2.4 gigahertz uh, model. Uh, I don't think it comes any other way. Around what would be the bottom of the box, just a quick look at the model there uh, and how it's laid out. What would be the right side here is a breakdown uh, with the cover off, as you could see. A little bit of stuff here about the low pr profile uh, rubber tires, again, the model. A little bit of breakdown of the steering system here, so you guys can see it. And in the full review, I'll go over uh, most of this here with you guys. And then around what would be, uh, I guess, the top of the box here. Just a quick uh, go over again of some of the stuff that it shows. And here's a picture of the green model for you guys. Um, here it does tell you to remove some plastic uh, across the top of the vehicle like it does here as well. There's a sticker here that tells you to remove the protective film off of the box. So uh, let's tear into this real quick. I'll get it uh, opened up here so we can slide this open together. All right, I did just uh, cut the seal here on the end of the box and there is one on the other side as well. We'll just, uh, oh, there we go. As we open this up, it uh, looks like we start right out here with a uh, instruction manual here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Sorry about that. Um, just a little bit about the stuff at the bottom here. Quick go over. Looks like some possible instructions, possibly some information, warranty, etc. Stuff like that. All your general uh, stuff like that. Your accessories that comes with the package, with the product itself. Quick connection and disconnection for the battery. How to use the vehicle. You know, just for your very basic uh, instructions oh and look at this as well because this is also a hobby grade uh, rc car uh, you are able to order all the parts uh excuse me off the internet um and i will provide the links down for amazon and stuff like that for you guys as well as the gp official uh website for you guys but because it's hobby grade once again i'll just mention that you can order any parts uh, say you want to change up your body you can go to a different color or if you break a bumper or a wheel or an axle or gears anything uh, like that you can actually literally order everything right down to nuts and bolts uh, right through the company another really nice thing that they've done here is they've shown a blown up view of different parts uh, of the vehicle itself so you can actually identify um, what parts you have with individual part numbers and things like that so that's uh, really really nice and then once again they've gone and done that with all the different parts uh, of the uh, the vehicle just for, so you guys can understand uh, and then some troubleshooting like normal in a general guide here i'll just set that off to the side we will continue to unbox here I'll flip this around and we will unbox this i'll just set the box off to the side for now uh, this as you can see here hopefully you guys can see this and maybe get a rough estimate of the size by my hand it's about 13 inches 14 inches from front to back uh, as you can and it's about 10 inches uh, in width uh, we'll just get this out of the box okay we've got some cable ties here we'll just give this a quick snap here and maybe i can get into this for you guys right away looks like we've got uh, some more things here just give this a quick quick opening here hopefully i can do this quick while i'm on camera this way i guess you guys get pretty much a full uh, unboxing experience here <laughs> along with myself here just get this quick there that looks like for the most part yeah that'll work set that aside oh yes there's more cable ties now let's give these all a quick cut here there is that vertical controller i'll go over that real quick i'll just set it there off to the side here for a moment 
Looks like we've got an accessories box, possibly. I'll uh, go into that here as well. But we do have some more cable ties, so... Might as well give this a good clip here while I've got it. There we go. Hopefully I've got all of it now and we can just lift this bad boy off of here. We do. There's nothing else in there. Set the box off to the side. Hopefully you guys can see this here. Nice low profile on this RC car as well. It stands about 5 inches tall. And like I said before, there is a protective film. Uh, all over this but beautiful detail looks like really good quality uh, on this car really nice uh, wheels and they spin really nice there's ball bearings in there so that's uh, a really nice and it's feature and it is four wheel uh, independent suspension as you can see here so that's uh, another really good it seems to bounce pretty good so it should take up some bounces good on the uh, on the road uh, the Model 2, because again, it is an RC uh, hobby grade, it does have these quick release lease pins uh, on all four spots to uh, go under underneath here. So I'll just quickly open these here up for you guys. And the cover just pops off uh, just like that. I'll end up peeling this plastic off later. I'm not going to do it now uh, on an unboxing video, but there's a quick look uh, at the inside of the vehicle for you guys. Uh, hopefully you can get a good look at that battery compartment seems like it just swings open like so and you do it does come with your battery in there but it is not charged I'll have to uh, give that a go and that is an 800 milliamp uh, lithium-ion battery 9.6 volt hopefully you could see that there uh, don't know if it'll focus in on that or not but uh, just so you guys can see there's that you do have a an antenna here as I can see and your on off switches on the inside of this vehicle so every time you're going to want to shut it off uh, or turn it on you will have to remove the cover and then go to the inside so I'll uh, give you more about my opinion on that uh, and how I feel about that as time goes on and when I come back with the full review for you guys but we'll just have another quick go over here everything seems pretty good there's your metal drive drive rods and stuff like that your axles that it was talking about before We'll just set that aside for now. Quick go over of the controller, as you guys can see here. Uh, this is the first time that uh, I've ever had a controller that um, requires, that's like this. I'm used to the ones that usually has the uh, analog sticks on it, I believe they're called. It's uh, two AA batteries. You just remove this cover here uh, and you put your two AA batteries in. So it's not a four battery uh, controller, it's just a two battery controller. And you do have your adjustment here for your trim for your steering which is really nice so you can get that so it just drives a straight line all the time your on off switch with your LED is right there and then it looks like your steering wheel is here so we'll check out that white box now that comes with this and we'll see what uh, is inside this box here I'll give that an open that up for you okay so it does come okay nice comes with a screwdriver so if you need to replace any parts, take anything apart, uh, you can do that. It is just a Phillips screwdriver, so the square. Um, hopefully you can kind of see that there. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Um, not the best quality screwdriver, but it definitely should get the job done. So that's nice that they toss that in there. You do have a charger for the battery, so that's nice. It'll just plug into that, and it does have the LED on there. I'm probably thinking green when charged, red when charging. We'll give that a go, and I'll confirm that again in the full review uh, and there's some specs if you guys want any specs on the charger of course if it'll only focus there we go we'll see how that turns out there for you guys all right we'll set that aside it looks like we do have a tail fin here for you as well uh, it's really dark I apologize for that we do have uh, try and get that to focus there we go. Looks like we have the tail fin here that uh, goes along the back side of the vehicle here. As you can see, those two screw or no, that's the front. Oh, that is the back. Oh, goes right up here. Uh, hopefully you guys can see this, but where these four holes are, um, right here and here, is where these four spots uh, on here will go in 
just like so and then you'll have that sticking out the back side of the vehicle so that's nice that's in there we do have one more item inside here this box is now empty it looks like all right we've got a few things in here so i'll just open this up here we've got looks like we've got six extra screws i don't know if those are just extras or if they're for something else we'll get into that in a minute and we do have the steering handle that goes on the side of the controller looks like it just uh, goes in there yeah and there we go nice one it returns back to center when you release that so that's nice you do have a wrench that they've included here uh, looks like a little hexagon wrench that's probably going to assume for the wheels yes so yeah definitely so if you want to take those wheels on and off for you know putting different treads or whatever on there you can do that so that's a nice feature they've given you four more extra body clips which is nice and it looks like they have also included a couple of different gears uh, in this box so that's really nice that they've uh, thrown that in so um, we'll see what this thing's all about so there you have it <laughs> that is definitely a an unboxing here for the Lucktan S912 uh, Truggy they call it uh, cross between a truck and a buggy uh, we will give this a go over the next week or so I'll break it in and uh, I'll be back for you guys uh, for a full review thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe